In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to pick the best font for your no content and low content book front cover on the Kindle Direct Publishing platform. So if you haven't been here before, my name is Rory and I run this channel called Mr. Rosa and I like to talk about ways you can make money online and in today's video we're going to be looking at the Amazon KDP business. So picking a font can be a very important stage of designing the front cover for your low content book as when people come to view your book on Amazon, this will be the first thing that stands out to them as when they see your book, all that is displayed is the front cover. So your font will pop out to them and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to pick the best font for each particular niche and a free website where you can download fonts to use on your front cover for completely free and it's one that I use myself and it's very, very good. So let's just jump straight into the computer and let's have a look on Amazon at what kind of fonts people are using for each particular niche. So to start off, we're gonna look at more kids-based niches. So let's just have a look at something like a drawing book so drawing notebook for kids. And let's just have a look at the kind of thing that is coming up. So as you can see, it is more, when it comes to kids, they're gonna be more interested in like artistic sort of things. And the way I like to put it is curly sort of fonts. So this is a very good example. As you can see, it is very, if we can have a closer look, it's very like curly and there's a lot going on which intrigues a younger person. And as you can see that, this person has added a lot of colours around the text, which makes it pop out a bit more. And if we go and have a look at the bestsellers rank for this book, we'll be able to see how well it is doing and have a scroll down. As you can see, it has a bestsellers rank of 6,382. So this is selling a lot. It's even number one in Magic and Illusion. And well, it looks like it's doing very, very well. So yeah, the kind of thing that will appeal to kids is something that stands out to them. So adding colour to your text was very important, but something that's sort of bold, maybe not as important that it needs to be read. Obviously they want to read it, but unlike adults, more kids are just looking at, well, does it look cool? So as you can see here, this is another very good example. It is a comic book and comic books have a very distinctive text. And as you can see, this person has used a very bold text and there's a lot going on as you can see but it's very artistic and very sort of cartoony and extravagant so if we again have a look at the bestsellers rank for this book as you can see it is 1590 and comic books is something i would definitely recommend for you guys to get into they are very very popular i've seen many times that they've been number one in books and stuff like that so as you can see this is also one for kids and adults and yeah i would also agree that when it comes to comic books, having that bold and sort of extravagant font is very appealing for all people. So if we just have a look at some others, yeah, as you can see, this is another sort of curly sort of uh, font, as I would call it. And yeah, they're, they're not as bold and just easy to read, but they're more appealing to the younger person because they're looking more artistic and does it look cool? Is it cool to look at? So once again, here is another good example of that more curly styled and yeah, this is the kind of font you'd be looking to put in when it comes to kids. But let's say when it comes to adults, now adults notebooks, they're more looking at sort of logbooks that they're looking to do. So like a, a money logbook is something that they're looking at. So if we just have a look at money logs, uh, money logbooks, and have a look at the kind of thing that's coming up. So as you can see, it's very sort of old fashioned font. It it doesn't stand out as much, but it's very easy to read and it's something that would be easy to recognise straight away. So as you can see, again, very simple font, but there's not much going on really. And yeah, once again, very bold here. If we have a look at this one, it's just very bold and then it just has some smaller text underneath. So I'd say when it comes to creating a notebook front cover for adults, I would be thinking more like less artistic and more minimalist and just easy to read and doesn't like stand out as much in the colour based things but is more classic like you've got those few classic fonts that have always been around and just you can easily read it and it's easy to recognise really. And like the last sort of niche I'm going to show you guys is when it comes to learning books. So if we have a look at learning books you'll find that these are also quite simple fonts. They're just easy to read because it's more of it's not looking at being artistic it's more looking at teaching people a new skill for example or in this case a lot of the time it would be for kids 
So this is a great example here. It's just my first learn to write workbook. It's just very simple, just a classic font, easy to read. And yet, yeah, I mean, it does still stand out. And yeah, if we just keep scrolling down, you can see they all have this similar sort of font, easy to read and more minimalist. So now I'm gonna show you guys where you can download free fonts, which you can use on your front covers. Now this is a great website. Uh, it will be left in the description below. Be sure to go check it out. And it's got many, many different fonts, as you can see. So you can see the amount of different styles they have. And say, if we're looking to create a sort of cartoon based, like learn to draw book for kids. Well, this is the perfect thing for that. And as you can see, they are very cartoony, also easy to read, but they stand out for a kid because there's a lot going on really. So this is a great website. It will show you every letter. And in a minute, I'll show you how to download the font, but I'm just gonna have a look at through at some others. So when you're creating comic books, this also has a great range for comic books. Now, this is the one I would definitely recommend for all you guys if you're looking to create comic books, because this is sort of the classic font you would see when you're designing a comic book for someone. It stands out and it looks very hand-drawn, sort of. And yeah, definitely something that I'd recommend if you're looking to create books for the comic book niche. And if we just keep scrolling down, you can see there is many, many different types for whatever you would want. I mean, look at how many rows there are even for horror books. I mean, there's loads. And once again, we can click on it and it shows you every single letter, uppercase, lowercase, of what it will look like, numbers. I mean, it shows you everything. So if you're looking to download one of these fonts, what you would do is let's just go onto a cartoon one. And if we just have a scroll down, see one that we like, I think I'm gonna go with I think I, I quite like this one. I think this is quite a cartoony based one, perfect for kids. But actually, as you can see, this one says this is for this is demo font for personal use only. So we cannot use that when creating our book, which is fine. You just have to make sure when you're going to download these fonts, it says you can use for commercial use. So this one doesn't say anything. So that would tell me that I am allowed to use that for selling stuff online. So if you just go to the download button, all you've got to do is click that and then it will come down into here, uh, your bottom left. And then for me, I've got a downloads folder over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Adobe Illustrator and I already have a file open. And what I'm gonna do is just open it here. It should come up in my downloads folder. And then if I click on that, and then it will come up with a uh, text saying install font. Now, if you just click install font, it will straight away install the font for you. So now if I close that down, and create a text box in Adobe Illustrator, and then search for, what was it called? Uh, Grow Bold, and just search it up there, Grow Bold. It comes up straight away. And now I can enlarge that, and it is, straight away I can use that on a front cover of any notebook that I would want. And it also has an uppercase uh, option, I think. So if I just type in notebook, you can see the difference between that and lowercase, so there's many different styles you can create. So I hope you guys found that video useful. I made this video because I saw a on YouTube there wasn't many videos on how to pick the correct font for your low content books, and I thought this is something that you guys might find interesting and something you can hopefully use to help make more sales in your low content book business. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. I'll be reading and replying to all your comments, and maybe if you've got a really good comment, I'll be making a video on it because I know some of you there is a lot of questions you've got out there and there's so many things you can improve on your low content book business and once again if you did enjoy hit that like and subscribe button it means a lot to me it doesn't take you half a second to do and well i hope to see you in the next one goodbye